Hey everyone, welcome back for another video. My name is Tanya, for those of you that are new here. And one of my more popular videos that I posted about a year ago was on how to paint angels. So I thought I'd bring to you another video on angels. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, so today we're going to be painting an angel, and I've done that in the past, but what I concentrated on in the past was more of the wings. And I'm going to show you a couple examples of paintings I've done actually on YouTube. So if you wanted to go back to maybe, I think this was about a year ago, so some of my videos maybe about a year ago had some paintings on angels, but I concentrated more on their wings. So it was the back of the angel, and I'm sorry I cropped some of these because I had um, framed them. But here's one that I didn't crop. So just to show you, I concentrated more on the angel, uh, the wings, and I stylized it. So you really didn't see the front of the angel. You saw the back of the angel. So that's what I did in my previous videos. But this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you the front of the angel. And I split my paper into two here just to kind of show you what we're going to be doing. So I just quickly sketched this out. So on this side, I'm going to sketch the same thing as I did on this side, but I just wanted to show you what it's going to look like. So this is going to be the front of the angel, and I'm going to concentrate a little bit more like on the background and stuff and make it a little bit more whimsical. So that's what we're doing today. Um, so I've got my Arches watercolor paper. I've got all my Grumbacher paintbrushes, um, except for this one. This one is uh, a Royal paintbrush, but I'm not even sure I'm gonna use it. So I'll let you know what sizes I'm using as I'm going along. I've got my two cups of water, one for cool colors, one for warm colors. It just makes it easier so you're not running back and forth to the sink changing your water all the time. And I've got my Winsor Newton watercolors. If you don't have Winsor Newton watercolors, totally fine. There's so many great watercolors out there on the market, uh, but this is the palette that I have. And I'm not sure I'm going to be telling you exactly what colors I'm using today because it's really not about what colors I'm using. You can make this any color you want. Um, so also I have a, um, a pencil and an eraser. Oh, and another uh, good tip is and when you're erasing, because sometimes I don't start by sketching it. Sometimes I just go straight into watercolor. But today I'm actually going to be doing the sketching. So if I'm erasing some marks, instead of wiping it off with your hand, the eraser marks, um, you've got oils on your fingers. You don't want that oil touching your paper. So go get like an old brush and you could just kind of wipe off the eraser marks like that. So you're not putting the oils from your fingers onto the paper. All right, so we're going to start by uh, sketching out her little head first. So it just depends on what size paper you have and how you want your composition to be. If You don't have to have your angel centered in the middle of the paper. You can have her off to a side. You can have her more up, however you want. This is your painting, but I'm just here to show you just quickly um, how, to, how to paint an angel. Okay, so you're going to start with an oval and just kind of lightly sketch it in. And if you go a little bit too dark like I did here, you can always erase that later. And then just bring her little neck down. And we're not gonna even be putting facial features, I don't think, on the angel. Um, so even to make it a little bit more easier for you, you don't have to get into all the facial features. So I think we're just gonna leave her face blank today. So bring her shoulders. And shoulders are a little bit wider than the head. So bring that out a little bit past, you know, the length, the, the width of your head. The shoulders come out a little bit more. And I'm going to have her arms kind of folded in the middle of the page like that. So again, I know this is drawing a figure, and drawing a figure is hard for a lot of people. Um, I'm not here to teach you really how to, to, to do a figure drawing. That, that'll save that for another time. Um, but this is just to kind of show you a simple angel. That's all it is. So don't get frustrated with all the proportions of the body and all that at this point. That we're going to save for another video. All right. And then her waist comes in and then it comes back out and you can make her as round as you want. I've seen some nice, nice angels that are not, you know, too, um, too thin. So again, I erased it. Wipe it off with your brush, and you can start over. And I'm just going to have her dress flowing, kind of like I have this one flowing here. Bring her 
bring her arms, her hands down. And again, I'm not even gonna really show you how to do hands because this painting is gonna be so tiny that it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna kind of come to a, a V with her arms and her, her hands. So it's a little bit more of a whimsical painting. And you can put little elbows in there. So if you want, you can, so they're not coming straight down. You can kind of make a little bit of a curve here just for her, her elbow. All right, and then for her hair, you can make long hair, short hair, whatever you want. And I'm just gonna kind of come down like this. I gave her a little bit of a swoop of a bang. And I'm gonna make it come down like this, maybe more into a point. Maybe I'm gonna mimic that arm, the arms here. So I'll come into a point also here. And we can go ahead and lighten up our lines later. So don't worry about that. Now I want her wings to come out. So they're gonna be taller than her, her head. Come back in, bring them out like that. I want this to be rounded out a little bit more. There we go. So try to do the same thing on the other side. And I know it's always hard, especially if you're a righty, your right side always works out better. If you're a lefty, your left side works out better. Just try to do it as evenly as you can on both sides. That's something I've learned over the years is just try to train your hand and your eye and your brain um, to kind of do the same exact thing on both sides. That's something you just have to kind of get used to. And I'm still not perfect at it after, gosh, I don't even know how long it's been. I've been drawing since I was a little girl. So, um, and I've taken, I've got art degrees, two different art degrees, and I've taken art classes throughout my whole life. So, and I'm still not perfect at it. I think that's just something you just have to, deal with. All right, so I'm going to start lining up my, or lightening up my, um, my lines here a little bit. You could just kind of come in and lightly lighten them up a little bit. Not a heavy hand. You don't want to ruin your paper. That's about all I'm going to do. All right, so the rest is going to be watercolor. So I've got my angel on both sides, but this one was to kind of just show you how I wanted it. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this one. All right, I am gonna start with her, let's see, you can start with anywhere actually. I'm gonna start with her wings. And I'm gonna take my, um, my wash brush here. I have a half inch wash brush. And I'm gonna wet my wings. Not a lot, you don't want too much water on there. Like I've said in videos before, if you kind of look at it sideways in the light, you'll see a little glisten of the water, but you don't want puddles. You definitely don't want puddles. You just want a little bit of a glisten so you know that the water is on the paper. And I'm gonna do her wings blue. And I don't even know what blue I'm picking up. I've got a, I've got a mixture here on my palette already of a, like a bluish green. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. I'll pull in a little bit more of this blue. A little bit more water because I don't want them too vibrant. All right. And I think that was a Windsor blue green. But like I said, I'm not going to be telling you every color I'm using because it's not about the colors. See how it's beautifully blending out here? So all I did was I took a really uh, watery wash on my brush of the blue and I brought it in on one side of the wings and see how it's automatically just blending over. That is so pretty. So I think I'm gonna come in and I'm using just the corner of my wash brush. So if you want to use this, if you wanna use your wash brush like this, you're gonna get a thicker line. If you use just the corner, you're gonna get a thinner line, obviously. And I'm just kind of outlining it a little bit. And I think I, I like that look. I think I'm gonna um, leave it a little bit more um, light in the middle. So maybe I'm gonna come in with just, I'm picking up a little bit more of that same blue and I'm just going over the edges. I'm just dabbing it on the edges. So it gives it a little bit more um, depth. It gives it a little bit more depth. So you can see the, the dark of the, the wing on the side, 
and then it lightens up as it gets to the middle. And I really like that. I think that's beautiful. Okay, wash off your brush. Do it on the other side. Grab just water. Again, not too much. You just wanna see a little glisten of the water on your paper. And I'm gonna pick up the same blue. And I'm going to go around my angel's body. And I'm gonna bring some on the outside also. And I wanna leave the middle of the wing a little bit lighter, so it gives it a lot of definition and dimension. There. And then you can come in and just straighten up her wing a little bit if you want. And if you want it a little bit darker, just go in and tap a little bit more of that blue right around her, like that. And I'm gonna do the other side again. And you can always just let this dry. You can let this dry and you can um, put another layer in later also. Just go around her carefully. All right, that's good. So I think that's all I'm gonna do to the wings at this point. So we're gonna let that dry and I'm gonna go on to her dress. All right, so um, you could either let the wings dry completely so that the dress and the wings don't bleed together when the wet on wet touches, or you could just leave a little bit of a, you know, just go really, really carefully around it and just leave a little bit of space so the waters don't meet. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I am going to pick up, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my number seven with just clean water and I'm gonna put water right on her dress, the bottom of her dress, carefully not to touch the wings unless you wanted to go ahead and dry the wings or let them dry naturally. Totally up to you, but for the sake of the video, I am just going to be careful. All right. And I think I want her dress more of a, let's do a little more of like an orange. All right, so I'm gonna start using my other. So see how I was using this one for the blue? Now I'm gonna be using this water for the cool colors, okay? I'm sorry, the warm colors. Blues are cool colors, reds and oranges and yellows are warm colors. So that's what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna start using my different uh, water container. All right, I'm picking up an orange here. And I'm gonna kinda of do the same thing that I just did on the wings. I'm just gonna kinda of go around her wings, around the arms and the hands here. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more. And right now is the time to adjust. If you wanted to adjust your angel's um, body and just re reshape it a little bit, you could definitely do that. Like if you wanted it to come out a little bit you know, wider or whatever. All right, so since I did not dry my paint, I don't know if you could see this, but just a little, little, little bit of the blue is going into my dress here. If that happens to you, just pick it up with your clean brush and dab it off. That's all. And actually it's still bleeding through a little bit, just a little bit. So I'm gonna take my paper towel. I'm just gonna dab that area. All right. A little more orange there. Okay. All right, so I'm going to deepen up my oranges now. And you don't have to do the whole um, the whole dress the same color. You could always do you know different colors. But I'm gonna make her background very colorful, so I want to kind of keep her a little bit more simple. Whereas, let me pull up my other painting. Whereas the background on this one. Um, I kept simple yellow because I really wanted to stylize her dress and her wings. So I concentrated more on the angel than the background. 
And this one here I'm going to do a little bit differently. I think I'm going to concentrate on the background more than I am the angel. And so it just depends on what look you're going for. All right, and I am going to put a little orange up here also. So I'm going to keep her pretty simple. That's where her hair comes in. This is the neckline of the dress. I think at some point I am going to have to dry this. Maybe with my heat gun. So I'm just going to fill her in. Now leave a little bit of white space for the hands, depending on what color skin tone you're going to do for your angel. You're going to match the hands to the neck and the face. So whatever color skin tone you decide to go for. All right, and I'm going to deepen up a little bit under her arms here just to show a little dimension. And I did not pull my heat gun out today, so I'm gonna to have to go find that. Okay, so I went ahead and I dried my angel with my heat gun, I found it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a little bit more definition to her dress up on top here. So I'm gonna take a little of that same orange color and I'm gonna go around where her arms would be. I'm gonna lighten that up a little bit, bleed it out. Do the same thing under the arms here. Lighten that up a little bit. So you're, I'm just taking a clean brush and I'm dabbing off some of that orange just to lighten it up a little, like that. All right, and I'm gonna do the same thing to the outside of her arms as well, just a little bit. And that's why we dried our wings so that I could go ahead and I can start defining her arms a little bit more. Otherwise, it, everything would have bled together. And I'm gonna give that a little wash just to bring it in a little bit. All right, and let's see. Um, I can go ahead and do a little bit more to her waist area now that I dried the wings. a nice clean brush with just water and bleed that out a little bit. I should have also also mentioned that I am using um, rough watercolor paper. Um, I had mentioned it's the arches, but it is rough. It is not the, the fine grain. It is the rough grain. So if my painting is looking a little bit different than yours, it's probably because I'm using rougher paper than you. So it gives it a little bit more texture, a little bit more dimension. Okay, I'm gonna be putting a little bit more definition into her wings. So I'm gonna pick up that blue again. And I am going to define her a little bit like that. And I'm gonna come in with just a clean brush. And I'll put a little bit more water to bleed it more towards the middle. You can always bring it around. It looks pretty. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. You don't wanna to wait too long because then you are gonna get a line there. So you wanna go ahead and put water on it right away. Clean water. And just bring it in to wherever you want. You can even just do the whole wing like this or see how this one I didn't come in all the way, so I've got that gradation. So you could do either way. I keep putting little drops of water on my paper. All right, and I'm gonna darken up down here a little bit. I'm 
going to pick up a brown. And I'm just going to come in with some brown on her hair. And you don't have to fill it in all the way because you want a little definition here too, how we did the wings and the dress. So we can, we're going to uh, blend it in with some water together. But we don't have to fill it all the way because we want some lights and some darks on her on her hair. So it looks like some highlights. And you could have gone ahead and done um, her skin first if you wanted to. I just chose to do the hair first. And then kind of outline where her, if depending if you have long hair, outline where her neck is going to be. And start shaping her head. All right. And then with just water, come in and you can blend it in a little bit together. If you wanted to leave a little bit of the white space for highlights, you definitely could. I'm just going to have lights and darks of my hair. So it just looks like there's some little um, highlights, but not too much of a highlight, not a white highlight, just a lighter brown highlight. So I'm just using water and I'm just blending in together what I just had laid down. All right. And whenever hair come to a point like that. All right, very good. All right, so um, you can go ahead and use, you can even just leave her skin uh, white. You don't even have to paint it in if you don't want to, but if you wanted to give your angel some skin tone, um, you can just choose any skin tone you want, obviously. And I'm gonna go to a different brush. I think I'm gonna pick up a, what is this, a number one? Yeah. And I'm gonna do a, just a light skin tone. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix a little bit of yellow together. Let's see here, Let me show you what I'm doing. I'm mixing just a little bit of yellow and a little bit of a red to get kind of a peachy orange. And I'm gonna give it a lot of water. And then you can go ahead and adjust it. If you wanted darker skin tone, add a little bit of brown to it. You can, if you have white, you can always add a little bit of white. Um, I'm not doing that today. I'm just gonna do kind of a peachier skin tone. And you can leave some highlights if you want to. And we're not going to be doing, um, like I said before, we're not going to be doing facial features. So I'm just going to make it easy for you. And then don't forget her hands too. All right. Just like that. All right. I'm going to go ahead and dry my angel and we're going to start on the background. Okay, so what I'm gonna do for the background is kind of like a round, almost like a halo, like she's got this like halo around her, but I'm gonna do it really, really colorful. Um, so that's why I kind of left my angel plain because I was gonna concentrate a little bit more on the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure your angel is wet, uh, dry. I just dried her. And I'm gonna put some water. I'm using a number seven again. I'm just gonna kind of outline my angel here. Just the top of her. Kind of in a like a little halo around her, and I think I'm going to start with a like a yellow. So I'm going to pick up my yellow. I'm going to dab it around her. I'm going to let it bleed in. Wash off my brush, and then just kind of carry it up a little bit so that it's a little bit more vibrant around her. Um, and then it just kind of bleeds off as, as it goes up. All right, really pretty. So this is gonna be a, um, you can go ahead and dry it if you want to, or you can let the next layer bleed into it. I'm gonna go ahead and dry it. 
Um, but you could always go ahead and make another la layer and then let the colors bleed in together if you want to. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do another, it's almost like a rainbow. And you can make your lines, your circles, as thick as you want. This one I think I'm gonna do maybe a little bit more of a pink. So go ahead and let that just bleed up like you did the first color. Now if you didn't dry your first color, they will be bleeding together, but I, like I said, I chose to dry mine because I wanted to leave a little bit more of a crisp line between the two colors. And you could just take a clean brush and help that out a little bit. Like that. All right, I am going to dry this now and we'll go on to another color. Okay, I think I'm going to pick, well, first I'm gonna lay down some water. We're gonna start bringing this around our angel. So if it's hard for you to see where you're laying down the water, just do what you did before and kind of look at your, your painting sideways and just see if it's glistening enough. You don't want puddles, you just want it to be glistening a little bit so you know that there's water there. All right, I think I'm gonna do a, maybe a purple. Let's go ahead and do a purple, but I want a light purple. So I'm gonna add some water to my purple. going to do another layer and you could do as many as you want um, you don't even need to finish the whole page you could just leave the rest of it white if you want to so I know I'm going to be trimming my paper here so this is actually where it's going to be bleeding off the page so I'm not going to go into my other painting I'm going to try and just leave you know like it's cut off right there now I didn't tape down my page um, Sometimes I tape down my page, sometimes I don't. This one I did not because it's actually a block, um, so it's taped down for me. I just split the page in half, that's all. But you could have definitely taped down your page. That side might be a little too vibrant for me. Actually, now this side is too, so I'm gonna pick it up with a little bit of water in a second. So I wash off my brush and I just pick up with a clean brush, just pick up some of that yellow and dab it off on my paper towel. Or you could take your paper towel and just kind of dab it on your painting if you want to. A couple different ways to do that. This one is a little bit more of a smoother look. If you want some texture, go ahead, especially if you've got um, a paper towel that's got all these little dots on it, you'll definitely make some texture. Dab it up here a little bit. Straighten that out around her wing. All right, and I'm gonna dry that and do another color. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that pink again because I really like that pink. I might just keep going with the same colors that I'm, I've got going here. So then pink will be next, then purple, and then if there's room for blue again. Oh, she looks really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna um, just make her stand out a little bit more. So 
by doing that, let's see, I'm gonna pick up my number six brush. Eh, you know what, I'm gonna stick with my seven, no big deal. And I'm just gonna go around her a little bit more. Okay, so I went ahead and I just deepened up a little bit blue around her a little bit more just to kind of push the wings back and her forward. And so now what I'm gonna do is just to make it a little bit more fun, and if you don't have any metallic paints, that's totally fine, you don't have to do this part. But if you have metallic watercolors, which I love my metallic watercolors, you can go ahead and start adding a little metallic on her. Um, you could either do the background or her. And I'm going to add maybe a little bit of blue on her wings. So I'm picking up my blue metallic and I'm going to start adding in a little bit here and there. And here again, you can bleed it out with just a clean brush. So when it dries, you're going to see a little bit of a sheen, a little bit of a sparkle, which is really pretty. So I'm going to do the other side. Wash it off, bleed it out. Just like that. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit of um, orange to her, her dress. So she, her dress has got some metallic also. Mostly just outlining her and leaving the middle of the dress here lighter, just like we did with the wings. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and um, add some designs maybe to the, the rings. You can add some designs to her dress. Um, here I'll show you once again this angel I did last year. So I added some swirls and some polka dots, and I added a little bit of like line work to her wings, a little bit of a wiggly uh, gold line. I put a necklace on her. I put a little halo, a little ring of uh, flowers on her head. I put some little hearts in the background. Um, you could do whatever you want. Um, so this one here was concentrating a little bit more on the background. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and add, let's see. I think I'm gonna add some um, pen work to her background. Okay, so I just have my um, my archival ink pen here, and this one is a size uh, 05. So if you have one of those, if not, don't worry about it. You can pick up any pen, any marker you want. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put some little designs maybe in the background, since that's what we're concentrating on more today. You definitely wanna make sure your painting is dry for this part or you just won't see, um, the pen won't really work. So I'm gonna put in some little circles here. You can do whatever you want. Um, if you wanted to outline your angel a little bit, you could definitely do that. Maybe I'll give her a little bit of a wiggly black line on her wing. I think that looks really pretty. So that was a quick and easy painting. I just wanted to kind of show you um, a different variety of angels that you could paint out there um, compared to the one that I did last year for you. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you liked it and learned a little something. And if you did like it, please give me a thumbs up and you can leave me a comment in the comment section and consider subscribing to this channel if you want more videos like this one. Have a great day. Bye.